I see you, Crackmatic. On a, on a, like a Crackmatic. <laughs> Let's go. Run those emojis in the comments. This is the Lotus Lounge. And we are happy and blessed to have you guys here. We hope you like the vibe. And we hope you stay and come back. Let's go. And it's always a party here. We always have a good time in the Lotus Lounge. Let me tell you. Thank you. And there are contacts, but welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in, everybody. Very, very excited for today's show. We have an amazing guest that I can't wait to introduce you guys to. His name is Wild West. He is a streamer here on the app. Um, if you look at my gifters list, he is currently number two. So if you like what he's saying and you like his vibe, definitely hit him with that fave. All right. For those of you that are new here, we would like to welcome you to the Lotus Lounge. My name is Uma, top badge Uma B1111. And I am the CEO of the Lotus Lounge family here on streams. You can recognize this by our emoji, that little pink lotus flower. If anyone would like to be part of the Lotus Lounge family, it is simple. You can be a supporter by wearing our emoji or putting it in your, your bio that you know you rock with Lotus Lounge family, or you can actually initiate and become part of the family. And we will tell you what that entails, all right? I would like to shout out my Lotus Lounge family members. So if you are a current Lotus Lounge family member or you are a supporter, please run those emojis in the comments, our emoji, so people can find you. And I want to tell you guys that they're all streamers and they're all amazing. So if you like the vibe in here, chances are you're going to like the vibe there. I'm always trying to push the GVG, the Good Vibes Gang here on streams. All right. Class, welcome in, welcome in everybody. So we are now doing a featured stream. I just wanna remind you guys, this is recorded. It goes on my YouTube channel for my guests that they can grab it off of there if they'd like to. So if you do get mean or nasty in the comments, you will be kicked on site. There's no warnings for the show. This is a featured stream. And I just wanna remind you guys that if you get kicked from a featured stream, which is an app sponsored stream, there is a possibility you can get banned. All right, so let's not play dangerously today. Let's play nice with everyone in here, right? Let's just all be a little nice today. All right, so we like to start our show by first welcoming our new people. So if you are new and you've never been here, could you please put a one in the comments so we can shout you out and give you a proper welcome. Lotus Lounge family, please welcome in our new people. We are very excited to have here. Welcome in Kali, welcome in Klaus, welcome in Kelly. Craft Mac, nice to see you. Hi, girl 89. Madman696, what's up? Stacy, hello, and thank you for those gifts. Just want to tell you guys that we are um, a group of conscious streamers. So we do believe in like joy, laughter, fun, positivity, high vibes, all that good stuff. So if that's your vibe, please feel free to hit me with that favorite and come hang out. I stream twice a day. And uh, I think you'll like the vibe. Let's see, let's see if you will. All right, we like to start our show with affirmations. So if you can do with a little positive affirmations in your life right now, just put a one in the comments and I will give you a free affirmation, okay? Uh, Emily, high vibes, you guys do drugs. You don't need drugs, Emily, to have a high vibe. You can just be a pretty awesome person and be interested in sharing that good vibe with everyone. Oh, but she got kicked, so there we go. All right, Craft Mac, you got, you are ready. You are ready. Your intuition is guiding you. You can trust your decisions. Callie, you got, you are generous. Stay open to receiving good and generously giving good. That is your affirmation today. Stacy, baby. You got, you are open. Your higher guidance communicates with you through ideas. Stay open to receiving messages everywhere. Nike God, Jay Styles, you got, you are persistent. Your potential is limitless. Klaus, you got, you are aligned. Today, choose to release all beliefs, peoples, and energies that no longer serve your highest and greatest good. Welcome in everybody. This is Uma's Lotus Lounge. It's a featured stream here on the Plenty Fish app. Please put a one in the comments if you would like your free affirmation of the day. All right, welcome in, welcome in. T-Dog, I see you. Hi, Nina. T 
Sea Dog, you are evolving. Who you are is not tethered to the past. Nina, you are grateful. Gratitude awakens the good to unfold in your life. Wild Sensei, you are authentic. Your authentic self is your most powerful state. Hi guys, welcome in. If you would like your affirmation, please put a one in the comments. Callie, I don't remember, but I'll give you another one. You are mindful. As you move through your day, your body, mind, and soul are aligned with your higher self. Nini, the recruiter, you are inspired. Your voice, words, and ideas matter. The world needs the magic that is inside of you. Hayford, you are vibrant. You honor your boundaries and radiate confidence. Um, who else is in here? If you want your affirmation going last time, put a one in the comments if you would like your affirmation. Thank you, Barbie, thank you so much. Put a one in the comments if you would like your affirmation before I move on to our essay today. Barbie, you are limitless. You are constantly growing and upgrading yourself. Anyone else? Anyone else? We're good, we're good. Okay, got to do the, you know, going once, going twice. All right, sold, we are done. So I want to welcome you guys in every day that we do this show. It brings me so much joy in my heart because I think like people sometimes think it's like not cool to be drama free. Not cool, right? Let, let's, let's talk about all the things that's not cool, that is so cool here at the Lotus Lounge. Put a one in the comments if you think it's cool to be drama free. Because that's what we're about. Put a one in the comments if you think it's cool to be polite. Put a one in the comments if you feel it's really cool to be compassionate. You know, somebody's going through something, you don't make fun of them, you don't mock them, you try to hold space for them and be there for them, right? Put a one in the comments if you think it's cool to just be humble. You know, you don't got to come out and say, well, I drive this or I own this or I make this much or I have this much diamonds. I'm a boss badge, VIP badge, right? Humble. Put a one in the comments if you think it's cool to be generous. Generous with your time, with your money, with your energy, you know, generous with your love, right? Put a one in the comments if you think it's cool to be friendly. No reason just don't want to add to somebody's stress in the day you just want to like make it nicer if anything try to make them smile right i remember one time i was on streams and not every day is a fun day of course we are streamers we're human too right and i was having a bad day and i came onto stream because i had to do my you know my hours and this guy random stranger just came in my stream picked up on my mood asked me what was wrong nobody was in the room yet so i was just like you know I'm just having a tough day with my family and stuff's going down and I just can't wait to come on here and just talk to people and just be uplifted, you know? Um, and he flew a jet on me and I was like so shocked. And he said, I want to see you smile. And he didn't know me from anything. He, I never saw him again. It was just like a, like a, like a golden angel just popped in. You know what I'm saying? And I aim to be that type of person. Tori, welcome. Don't you guys like doing that? You know, just being that type of person that could brighten somebody's day or you feel good. Put a one in the comments if you feel good when you do something nice for people and they smile or they're so thankful or they're so grateful. I'll tell you, that's literally 95% of the reason why I gift on here. I gift on here because I just like bringing a smile to people's face and just making their day better. And I think that's the greatest thing about community is that we can do that for each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I run said, it makes me feel better when they feel better. That That's the kind of energy I wanna be around. So if you guys like that energy and you're like with that, let's all be peace, let's all just chill and have a good time respectfully, definitely favors here at the Lotus Lounge. Again, Lotus Lounge family, put the emojis in the comments so people can identify who you are and they could favor you as well. Cause there are some people out here, they come to my stream and they're like, oh, I'm looking for streams like yours. And I say, oh, there's plenty of us. There is plenty of us. So I always ask you guys to run the Lotus emojis in the comments so people can identify the family and then they can come and check out your streams as well. Hi Z. All right, so today 
Uh, we have a great guest. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. Um, and he has a great topic, the effect you have on others. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if I found the essay to kind of match that energy, right? So Mike, thank you. So the effect, uh, my essay today that we're gonna talk about, thank you, Jay Styles, is the little things you don't realize are affecting how you feel about your body. Let me repeat that one more time. The little things you don't realize are affecting how you feel about your body. Are you guys interested in that? Do you want to know the little things that are you don't realize are affecting how you feel about your body? Okay, here's number one. How your parents feel about their bodies and what they said about them and others, even when you were little or they didn't think you were listening. So put a, a two in the comments. If thank you for the gifts, I appreciate it. Put a two in the comments if you have grown up with parents who talked badly about their bodies or about other people's bodies. Did you see what she was wearing with her weight, with her age? How dare she wear that, right? That stuff infiltrates into your brain. And then you're sitting there and doing the same thing and not realizing where you got it from, right? So that's number one, how your parents felt about your their bodies and other people's bodies, that could, be a little thing that affects how you feel about your body. Does that resonate for anyone? Hi, Rob. All right. Number two, put a two in the comments if this resonates for you. Photoshop is so good, you don't even realize there's Photoshop, meaning the magazines have perfected the art of Photoshop to the point where you're looking at these magazines and actually thinking these bodies are real like that. Yep, I know the women would put it put it in the comments because that's what we've been bombarded with our whole life. We have to look a certain way. We can't age, we can't get older, we can't have feelings, but we have to be nurturing. There's so many things put on us, right? And sometimes with the body things, we think that that's how we're supposed to look like. There's no cellulite, there's no wrinkles, there's no bumps, right? It's just all smooth, but it's also fake. So if that resonates for you, put a two in the comments because we're trying to like, understand why we feel the way we feel about our bodies you know and these are some of the little things that help you feel that way number three the attitudes of the first people you dated or were intimate with that can affect you put a three in the comments if you ever had a partner an intimate partner make fun of your body talk down to you about your body criticize you about your body i'm gonna put a three in there you know, I once dated this uh, guy who worked out all the time, who was a weight trainer, and he made little remarks. It wasn't rude enough and it wasn't shocking enough, but little remarks every time. That's happened to you guys too, right? And you're just like, wait a minute, <laughs> you know? This don't feel right. Something is not right here. That could actually still affect you, how you perceive your body. So just be aware of that, okay, guys? All right. Number four, the way your friends treat their bodies and behave. So if you see that they are just, you know, if you have friends that are just drinking all the time or eating all the time or, you know, not working out or just lazy or whatever, chances are you're going to, what, what did they say? Birds of a feather flock together, right? So chances are you're going to fall into that too and then start to say, well, I don't really got to care about my body. You know, nobody around me is doing it. So put a three, a four in the comments if that resonates for you, a four in the comments, right? I know for me, I'm glad that my friends treat their bodies well, so it, it motivates me and inspires me. All right, um, number five, your heritage and your hometown. Food is such an integral part of culture. It's largely the thing we socialize around. It's tied to the culture in which you were raised. So how many of you put a five if you are an emotional eater, right? Yeah, uh, five for Uma right here. Definitely an emotional eater. And then do you guys notice how many of you put a, a five in the comments if when you're sad or you're down and out, do you notice you want food from your childhood, right? Do you guys notice that, that you want like food from your childhood because you're just like, hmm, I'm not feeling the greatest. What would make me feel good? And that's my first question to the stream. Tell me, what is your go-to food when you feel bad? Put it in the comments. 
what is your go-to food when you feel bad? It could be, you could say, um, it's a Snickers bar, or you could say an actual meal, or you could say, you know, takeout restaurant, but put it in the comments. What is your favorite food when you are feeling down, gloomy, you know, depressed? Goldie said ice cream. What flavor, right? Um, and then also for me, I like, for me, it's chicken curry, dal and rice. It's my mom. She makes chicken curry, dal and rice. And when I eat it, I just feel all's right with the world. It'll be okay. Whatever I'm going through, it'll be okay. You know, Jay said pizza. Ooh, I love that. Is there a particular brand or just pizza? Nina said popcorn or chips. Ooh, any particular brand? Chicken, cookies and cream. Food is my favorite food, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Like we have our little go-to things. And what I've been doing and trying over the years is to change my go-to thing. So it's not so, you know, caloric and try to make it better. So like now one of my feel good foods, believe it or not, is green apples with salt and um, hot pepper. Makes me feel good, makes me feel better. So, you know, think of like how we can change it as we get older and start to incorporate other foods that are healthier. Oh, I love movie popcorn. Yeah, I that's my brand too. <laughs> salt and apples is just so, but it has to be the green apple because it's that like tanginess with it, so good. Welcome in everyone. My name is Top Badge Uma B1111 and this is Uma's Lotus Lounge, a featured stream here on the Plenty Fish app every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Stick around to the end. The top three gifters get a special reading and everyone gets a free message at the end of the show, which ends at approximately 5 p.m. All right. Okay, let's go along. Let me tell you some other ones. Um, check this out. Unrequited love. It's easy to pin something physical to being the reason someone isn't interested, but someone who only loves you when you're 20 pounds thinner is not someone you want to be with. So that unrequited love, like that could affect the way you view your body. If they're always telling you, I had a boyfriend who he never said anything bad about my body, but he was very, let's just say I understood he had a type and I was not the type. <laughs> just from the way he talked and, you know, talking about his exes or talking about if he saw people on TV, oh, she's beautiful. They all tend to look the same. Tall, leggy blondes, blue green eyes, which happened to match his ex-wife. So maybe there's a message there for me. I don't know. This was a long time ago, all right? So I was just like, even though he didn't say anything negative to me, it made me feel a type of way. I'm like, well, I'm nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So when you get with a partner who just absolutely adores you, it does something for you. It makes you feel good. And it makes you feel like, wow, you know, I'm doing okay. Everything is good. Okay. Did you know not spending any time outside can actually affect the way you view your body? The sun regenerates your body. We are solar powered as the food we eat. And to deny your body that source of warmth and light is to deplete your feel good hormones and everything else you were built to live in. So if you are struggling with your body image, with your body weight or the way you perceive your body, a simple trick is to just go out and walk about in the sun. Walk about in the sun. I have a gym membership and what I do is, uh, I tend to over the summer put my gym membership on a pause and try to get outside as much as I can. So before I come to streams, usually I stream 11 a.m. every day. And usually before I come to streams, I like to go outside, take a walk around my neighborhood for 20, 30 minutes. And when I come in, I'm like drenched in sweat and it feels so good to have that sun on you and to be sweating, right? Anybody else likes that? Hi Maris, anybody else likes that? To just kind of walk around when you like, how many of you like to have a really good workout and you're all sweaty and you come home and you take that nice shower, that cold shower? You feel like, yeah, all is right with the world, right? <laughs> Let's go. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, let me see. I can do like one more. Let me pick. There's so many here. Um, okay. A really good one is the constant attention given to celebrity bodies, how frequently you consume it and how seriously you take it. Um, whether they're bouncing back after having a baby or simply going through the ebb and flow of life, they're under the kind of scrutiny that would always make it seem that obsessing about 10 pounds after you've had a baby is normal. What's interesting about that, put on one of the comments if this ever happened to you, I mean, or something similar, because I'm going to give a very specific example. I remember when I first had my, when I had my first son and um, it was two months, it was like two months after I had him, uh, one of my parents 
said to me, how come you're still fat? And I said, I just had a baby. And at the same time, Britney Spears had had a baby the same time I had my son. And uh, he, my dad was, it was my dad. My dad was like, well, Britney Spears looks fine. She's back to normal. But I don't blame him because that's the thing. It's, this is the, in, the ingrained, this is the programming, right? Nobody thought, well, you know, Britney Spears got uh, a chauffeur, uh, a cook, a chef, a personal trainer. You know what I'm saying? She, she had a whole bunch of people helping her to get back to that uh, pre, pre-baby body weight. I had no, nobody. I mean, I had my husband at the time, but I was just kind of like, he was trying, he was losing his mind. I was losing my mind. We were like, you know, newborn parents with a kid waking up every couple hours, you know, so we, we weren't even sleeping to let alone think about working out or, or getting back on track. But it's just interesting that sometimes people could be so insensitive, right? Not meaning to hurt your feelings, but still be insensitive. And you, you take that and you keep it in your brain and then you don't let it go. So put a one in the comments if that resonates for you, you know? She made plastic the day she had her baby. We can't compare <laughs> that part, right? Hi, Salmon Mom. Yeah. So I just wanted to do this article, guys, because it's so important for you guys to realize that the way you feel about your bodies, right? The effect your thoughts have on your body is so important because it's letting you know if you can feel peace with what you have or if you're gonna be in that constant state of aggravation of I have to get right, I have to get thinner, I have to lose this weight, I have to do this, I have to do this, let it go, let it go. None of this is real. We're living in an illusion. We're living in the matrix. Don't buy into the matrix's tricks. You are perfect as you are. You're beautiful as you are. And trust me when I say you're gonna find somebody who's gonna love all those lumps and bumps and everything else, right? They're gonna love those lumps and bumps and everything else because they're not in love with your body, they're in love with you. And there's a thing about people that are in love, when they're in love, that's all you see is the spirit of a person. And that is really and truly one of my goals here on earth. My goal on earth is to remind people to look past the outer experiences and see the soul beneath. Because we're all wonderful, we're all beautiful, and we just need to trust in that divine guidance that we are given. Amen. Can I get an amen? Welcome in, everyone. This is Uma's Lotus Lounge. I hope you're enjoying the vibe in here. And um, I really hope that you guys enjoy it because my goal is to just bring a smile to your face the way other people do for me and to make you feel good about yourself and about your life. All right, it is time for us to welcome in our featured guest today. If you would like to be a featured guest on this show, you can hit me up, you can hit Eli up, you can hit Aphrodisiac up. They're responsible. They're my admins for this show. Uh, to be on the show, you have to be a streamer. You have to be a streamer that is focused on peace, love, light, positivity. So we don't really want to interview a streamer that's doing trolling or trauma and trauma streams, right? No offense. We just want to focus on the good vibes gang. And if you have a story to share or something to teach on, let us know. We would be happy to have you guys. Today, our guest is Wild West. We're going to put him in the big box. So if you guys can, please give us a warm welcome, a warm applause, put the clapping hand emojis in the comments, and let's welcome in our featured guest today, Wild West. West, please request the box. Here we go. Hey, please hey. put the hands. Hi, Wild. You gave me goosebumps. All that you were talking about, I was like, wow. I, love, you, I am a, a paid motivational speaker. So maybe that's like my little, a little bit of my craft coming out. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, before I get to our topic, which I love your topic, his topic today, guys, is the effect you have on others. So it's ex- so perfect, I think, for streaming and the streaming community. But before we get to that, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are outside of streams? I work for a children's hospital. So we develop the technology that the doctors and nurses utilize. So a lot of the stuff we're doing right now is virtual reality, um, getting the patients out of the out of the beds, out of the hospitals that allow them to be in their comfort zone at homes. So we're developing wow. my teams 
or development. That must be but. so satisfying. Do you feel like it's such a satisfying job? It really, really is. It really is. And, you know, I teach my teams. I have probably about 120, 130 people that work for me. We go up, you know, Christmas time, these kids are in the hospital. They're not with their families. Halloween's, and we go out, and they're voluntold that we're going to pass out gifts. You know, it's it's bringing that smile to that kid's face that's stuck in a hospital. It, yeah. it means a lot. It means a lot to that kid just to see that smile when they can't be home with their siblings, their parents, and and all they got is strangers coming in and out poking on them, right? Oh, you know. Bless yeah. you, bless you for this this work that you do. Could you give us like I don't know if anything just kind of like pops into your mind right away of like a story you have about like what you do for work that you could share with us a little quick story about one of the kids. Um, I can remember doing a Halloween costume. We passed out Halloween costumes, right? And this little girl wanted to be a Barbie and we didn't have a Barbie costume. So I, I gave my, my credit card to somebody and said, Hey, go out there and find a Barbie costume. And we brought it, oh. bought it, for her, brought it back for her. But it, the, the smile on her face, she was so excited. I, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's making others feel good. Right. And that's, that's what it's all about especially when they're going and that through brings us to our topic because i do i am curious i have some questions for you but what made you decide to come up with this topic today about the effect you we have on others i do that all the time as a leader that's one of my my styles is is always empowering people always make people's um their voice important and that's kind of why i do my you know my show is exactly why you, everybody has a different opinion and nobody's opinions right nobody's opinions wrong right their opinions but if you collaborate and have that group think you come out with a good outcome so that's I agree with the, that that's a thousand percent we have a go ahead we we have a show here on thursday nights um all my shows are on pause until september uh, and we have a show called the great debate on thursday nights and the idea is is we come up with a topic and then people jump in the box whoever wants to jump in and they share their point of view on the topic and we're very strict in the room we we don't allow you know um cursing or degrading other people or whatever we kick people out very quickly because the idea is is like you said everybody has an opinion and nobody's wrong nobody's right you know so you look like a motivating, inspiring person from the job that you do and what you do just in, in your regular life. And I'm pretty sure you're, you're probably a great streamer and you know, supporter of your, your streaming community. What would you say is one of the greatest effects you've had personally on someone? I would say, and I'm gonna go way back on this. I used to coach baseball all the time, right? And, and I coached for underprivileged kids. I didn't do it for the, the, the and uh, I had a team where nobody, nobody wanted these kids. They were rejects, right? And I, I was a brand new coach on the scene, so I got all the rejects, right? Everybody right. else had their teams. And we took that team, working with them every day, we took that team from never winning a game to going to the championship game. Well, my number one hitter wow. got out there mouthy. He was, he was doing this, and I benched him. I benched him because that's not how we're going to be, right? That's, we're not, I played sports all my life and that's, we don't, we don't put somebody else down on our team or another it's team, not right? sportsmanship. Yes, it's right. It's teaching that. I mean, he was just bullying. And uh, when I benched him and we ended up losing the championship game by one run, he was my home run hitter. But what was important was teaching that lesson, not winning that game. Right. I remember uh, like five years later, five years later, I get this phone call out of the blue and it's him. And he's like, I made the uh, little league all-star team for us or whatever. He said, I want to thank you for that moment. He didn't realize when I did that to him, what it, what it affected him, but it changed his whole outlook and it became an all-star. I don't know where he is now, but he became one of the top players in little league, you know, wow. so it, it, it came out of, 
it came out, a phone call came out of nowhere, and it was like, oh my God, that was like five years ago. Uh, it, it made I, that you know much what? of an it impact me, on somebody. It makes me remember, um, you know, there's a saying, you can lose the battle, but you still win the war. Correct. And, and that's what that reminds me of. In that moment, you were willing to lose that battle, lose that game, because your, your focus, your eyes on the prize, I want to create stellar sportsmen or sports ladies in, in this community, right? Like you want to create these great sports people that just have class. So that, that's beautiful. Um, we understand about like having the, uh, how we have effect on other people and stuff in real life, but how do you incorporate this idea into leadership style? It's taking the time for you, every one of your people. I, I'm an executive at the hospital, right? And I don't, my door's never closed. Okay. My phone is always open. I'm always, you know, I, all my people know if there's a problem outside of work, you know, and you need somebody to talk to, I'm there. I won't judge it. We won't ever talk about it. You, you know, like one of the, the guys that work for me, he's going through a divorce right now. Mm -hmm. And, and paying attention to people's attitudes change a little bit. Because I, I just questioned them. I was like, what's going on? What, what's going on in your life? Because you've always been an all-star. What, right. how can I help you? What do you, do you not have the tools you need? What, what is it I could do for you? And he called me after work. It was telling me he was going through a divorce. And I'm like, look, I said, you, you take the time you need. We'll figure it out at work. Take the time off you need to get, yeah. find yourself. You know, really dig deep. I, I do that with all my employees. I know all of them personally. I know their lives. I know their kids. I know all about it. Um, and it, it's really, it's really taking that time that somebody you truly, because you know, majority of your time you're at work. Most That's of your true. time you're, you're working, right? And why not enjoy the people that are around you and make it, Very make a true. difference? Yeah. Because you're I, family. So would you say, uh, welcome in everyone. This is Uma's Lotus Lounge, a featured stream, and we are interviewing our featured guest, Wild West, uh, AKA Wild Sensei. Sensei. Um, would you say that and to be a leader, it's very important, somewhat important, or it's least important to be, to have compassion and empathy? Oh, very important. But at the same time, you gotta be careful of that, that line, right? Because at the end of the day, they're your employees, right? And you don't want it to cross over to being a friend that I can get away with stuff. Right. It's a very, very, it's a very, very fine line. You, you need to get work done and you're not, there's some people that go out there and abuse your kindness. You see it on streaming all the time, right? They abuse your I kindness. I was about to say. Yes. I was see about it all to say, time. I said, well, yeah. What if your coworkers' bosses don't want to be part of the family? I was going to ask that because how do you, uh, let's say, because we're in a streaming community, of course, how do you um, handle that? I Like I find I'm the CEO of a, a family on here, the Lotus Lounge family. Um, and I completely understand what you're saying as a leader is we have to have that distance between us and the people we're leading, but we still have to be caring and compassionate. Do you have any tips for other leaders out here, whether they're CEOs of their stream families or um, just people who are leaders in, in their life, how to uh, navigate that. Uh, that? It's very, very tricky. I've, I've done a lot of management courses and a lot of, a lot of things to that nature. And the one thing you can't force somebody, you, you just can't, all you can do is control what you, you can only control yourself. Right. Yeah. And you give those tools out there. You give that stuff out there. If they accept it, they accept it. If they don't, they don't. Right. I can't okay. force another person to see the way I see, you know, or do how I do. And, you know, um, I've had several people, how did we become a leader like you? Well, my leadership style is different from everybody else, right? You've got to find the path, find your mentors that are going to teach you and pick little things of what they do. Right. And that's okay. going to make you that type of leader. You can't follow what I did because I, you know, my, I'm different. You know, every leader is I, I like different. that because we're all different leaders. Put a one in the comments if you do have an active mentor in your life, whether it's an active mentor, somebody you work with on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, or just 
they're a mentor to you from afar. You don't work with them, but you watch them. You know, maybe you go to their streams or you watch them on TikTok or YouTube or whatever. Put one of those. Also, a lot of you guys have um, mentors. Yeah, shout out your mentors. If, if they're on streams and they're in the room with you, go ahead and shout them out and give them that recognition. Because I think one of the worst things being a leader for me is that you do so much good work, but nobody knows. Nobody knows because I don't know if it's like a unconscious thing or a block or what, but people don't like to talk about or give credentials to people who help them. I'm always giving credentials to my mentors, my teachers, my friends, because I'm so grateful, you know, but I don't know, for some reason, people don't really shout it out. So, oh, there, there goes Rob, Uma B, Robin Rocks. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Um, I have one more question for you before I let you go, because I feel like I could talk to you forever. And by the way, guys, I'm going to be in Wild West's featured stream on Thursday. I'm going to let him talk about it a little bit before we go. So I hope you guys come and check out his stream. And I, I can't wait for him to tell you about it. But with us being streamers and just the amount of trolling and um, negativity that we have to deal with here on streams, what are your personal tips or opinions on how to deal with negativity? How to deal with negativity? Uh, you don't let it bother you. You, you, you flush it with positivity, right? Negativity, yeah. the trolls come and go. And if you ignore that negativity, they go away. They're just trying to get a reaction, right? I see it all the time on streams. They're just trying to get a reaction out of you. Don't acknowledge it. Don't even, don't even call out their name, anything. They, they tend to go away, you know, and I've, I I, I've learned. Go ahead. And I think that's exactly the best advice you can give because I noticed that it's embarrassing for them if they put something negative in the comments and you just glide right past it. You don't acknowledge it. You don't look at it. You don't call them out. They feel kind of like this, this big. <laughs> They're like, okay. Oh, Sam's like, I'd rather end my life and cry. No, you call us Sam. We're your backup. Okay. I wouldn't give the reaction on stream. Yeah, exactly. Welcome in everyone. So Wild West, this was amazing. But um, before I have you talk about your streaming schedule and your show and everything, I just have a very curious question. I ask all of my guests in your whole entire lifetime, what is the one piece of advice that stuck with you throughout the years? Like I'll tell you when I was about 10 or 11, my dad told me, if you love what you do for work, it's not work. And that just made so much sense to me. And it allows me to work 60 to 80 hours a week because it doesn't feel like work. So what is the best piece of advice you've ever given that you could share with us? I think what I've always learned, and like I said, I went, I played sports all the way through school and college, all that stuff is never give up. Mm. Always accept that challenge. Always accept that challenge. It's going to be hard. If you want the easy way, take the easy way, but the easy way is not going to get you where you want to be, right? You've got to hit those yeah. bumps and 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 get over those bumps because you can work it out. You're not by yourself. You ask for help. Make yourself vulnerable, right? Ask for that help because you can't do it by yourself. That that is so true. You can't do it by yourself. All right, this has been a pleasure, Wild West. Can you please tell us about your streaming schedule? What kind of topics or things that you do on your regular streams? And tell us a little bit about your featured stream and when it shows. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I started in October. I was a pure gifter, a pure gifter. I had some good people talk me into streaming uh, in January. So I kicked off streaming in January and it, I, I love it. I, I really enjoy it. I love, it's good vibe like you have here, right? We, I've got some amazing people. We have great conversation. We talked about religion on my stream last night and did, people had one opinion somebody had another and it, it never got ugly. It was good conversation, right? Um, so my show, my show uh, is what would you do? It's basically, I put it uh, scenarios. I get two guests in the box, put scenarios, whether it be leadership scenarios, how would you handle an employee relationship scenarios? How would you, what would you do if you found your partner texting somebody, right? And I'm gonna start doing streaming scenarios. What would you do if your top two gifters are on your stream and they don't like each other and they're arguing in your stream? How would you handle that? Those type, those type questions, right? I love so, it. Yeah, it's uh, Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm so happy you're going to be on it tomorrow night. I've got Hi. Abby, so Hi. you'll enjoy Abby. Abby's the one that took my took my seven milli. 
So oh, he's okay. just, yeah. So he's a really good guy. Awesome. Well, I can't wait, guys. I hope that you go ahead and hit Wild Sensei, aka Wild West, with that favorite. And don't forget, tomorrow night, Thursday night, 8 p.m., we will be in his stream. I'll be a guest on there for What Would You Do? Wild West, it was such a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you. And I will definitely be in your stream because your stream sounds like the kind of streams I'm looking for to be on here. Just nice conversation, nice people, nice vibes. So I will definitely be by. Thank you so much. And I'll let you let yourself out the box so we can give these people their readings. <laughs> Thank you guys. Did you enjoy Wild West? Was he amazing? Did you love it? <laughs> Did you absolutely love it? Sorry. Yes, water balloons. I need 10 water balloons. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even know I was in a challenge. If I get 10 water balloons, I win something. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, I, I love people that are like that, that are just so... Remember, as a show host, I have to interview a whole bunch of people or have them on here as guests. And I really, really enjoy the people that are just easy to talk to, easy to get along with. It just makes my job that much easier. You know what I mean? So uh, before I, I uh, go into the free readings, I want to thank YouTube for watching. This is being recorded to YouTube. So we're going to cut the recording here because we don't need to put people's um, private readings on there. But if you guys are watching me on YouTube and you want to be part of this stream, just download the Plenty of Fish app, come to the live stream section, look for my name, Uma B1111, and hit me with that favorite. When you hit me with that favorite, anytime I stream, you'll get a little notification and you can just come on in and hang with Uma and the Good Vibes Gang known as the Lotus Lounge family. So thank you YouTube watchers for watching. I do hope you come by.